joins us live from Keller with more tonight, Barry. Hey, Don, we're here in Arcadia Park we're again tonight, Arcadia where, Park. as you might well imagine, uh, pet owners have their dogs and cats secured safely uh, inside their homes and uh, gates tonight, and for good reason, because about a week and a half or so You're ago, two dogs, yeah. in fact, two dogs right back here in this green belt area behind me were found, they were beaten, and they had their throats slashed. In life, Peppermint and Holly were two ordinary neighborhood dogs. In death, they have galvanized the neighborhood. Two weeks ago, they died after they were beaten and had their throats slashed. Tammy Praley lives in the neighborhood and has two dogs, including Joy. No, I think it's horrible. It's, it's scary, and I'm thinking it's probably teenagers. It sounds like something that teenagers would do just out of meanness. Everyone, it seems, has a theory. Fort Worth co-compliance director Brandon Bennett is taking the case seriously and says he won't give up until it's solved. Whoever did this um, did it in such a fashion um, that leads us to believe that um, there is a concern that um, there's other pets that, that may be at risk. Peppermint and Holly are just the latest victims in Fort Worth. So far this year, there have been more than a thousand animal cruelty investigations, including 608 citations and nearly 300 cases of cockfighting and dogfighting. Peppermint and Holly's owners want answers. Honestly, I don't know. I don't understand it. I don't know who would. I don't know anyone like that. I don't. I'm going to associate myself with those kind of people. Fort Worth Animal Control combed the area today looking for clues but found nothing. They also went door to door to try and organize a neighborhood meeting. Rebecca Grigg said it's too little, too late. I have a snowshoe also, which is the animal that was killed across the way, so I'm concerned about that. Um, I'm concerned about my, you know, I have a nine month old. There is the concern that whoever killed Peppermint and Holly will escalate their desire to kill until they're caught. Pet owners and parents will be careful. It's very scary. It's scary to think that somebody would um, hurt a harmless animal like that, especially to the extent that they did. So far, no arrests have been made, but animal cruelty charges come with a stiff penalty if convicted. It's a $2,000 fine and two years in jail again. No arrests have been made. For now, we're live in Keller. Barry Carpenter, The 33 News.